You can't say a white brother is of the devil where he raped someone and then say a black brother where he raped someone he did it because his circumstances caused him to do it. Rape is rape. Now America is without question a racist country. Am I right, I say? And Trump, I said, Trump is without question a racist president. I got a letter, an envelope full of flyers and tracts sent to me by an Indian brother this week. He wrote me a letter. He said, Trump is not racist, Pastor Jennings, like I hear you say, because he has helped so many of your people. Your people. <laughs> and he sent me a picture of, what's that doctor name that Trump put over housing who don't know nothing about housing? Ben Carson. Ben Carson is a surgeon. He's not a real estate man. So he sent me pictures of Ben Carson and a few other Tokens. Let me define what a token is. A token is a replacement for the real thing. When you went to school, you use a token. The token took the place of money. So Trump give you tokens. So blacks won't say he's racist. He'll hire a few blacks. So my Hispanic family don't say he's racist. Here, hire a few Hispanics and down the line. But true love of God don't cater to no race. The true love of God just caters to scripture. And there is no justification nowhere of no race under the sun. I have to preach this moreover because the rise <clears throat> as I mentioned earlier <clears throat> about a letter that I received we are sharing with our brothers and sisters in April during the youth conference I received a lot of threats this one is somewhat different gentleman said he's from the Midwest and he's from one of those militant as he put it white organizations and he said he and many others were assigned to monitor popular black men who have some influence in America. And he said, Pastor Jennings, I can't believe I'm writing you because I'm one of those ones with about three or four others who was assigned to monitor you. He said, I want to give you some of my background. He said, I was raised to hate your people all of my life. He said, plainly putting it, I never liked you. Ends no way. So I said, well, won't you just say what you've been saying, Pastor Jennings? I don't mind saying it, but a lot of our television stations don't want to say what I say. You know, but capital N, you know what that is. Mm hmm. <laughs> so he said that him and the others was monitoring, and he said how you know his friends would be cussing about things I say and all that stuff and. He said, but Pastor Jenner, the strangest thing started to happen to me, watching you so long, 
start to change me. <laughs> he said, before then, I couldn't stand you. He said, I couldn't stand your reader. <laughs> and he said, I couldn't stand your, your television announcer. Dan the man. He said, but watching you, I start to change. And he said, one day I went to one of the fellows in my organization. And, and he said, I just said one thing good about you. He said, at the time, they was having a group meeting, all white men. He said, and unexpectedly, one of his friends grabbed him in front of everybody. He said, they put a gun into his head and said, I quote, he said, you better not ever compliment that in Pastor Jennings that we ask you to watch. He said, because we'll put you in the same casket that we want to put him. So they're in the Midwest. I'm coming to the Midwest. He wrote a very interesting letter, very intriguing letter. See, folks that's following the truth of God around the world, want, even those that don't like us, one thing they do know, they don't have no scared leader. I ain't afraid of nobody. From nowhere. At no time. Uh, you put out a few threats. Like I said, I'm used to threats, but <coughs> this one was different. Because out of all my letters, I never had other brothers included in the threat process. But uh, we got an army of men. Oh, yeah. I have an army. We have a mixed army here. And it's a blessing. So we're going to share that letter with the viewers, and I want to tell our viewers moreover, when you hear people, and I'm pretty sure many of you may read comments that people make under YouTube. Some of them, I mean, some of them is angry, aren't they? <laughs> Never at no time argue with nobody on YouTube. Let them say what they want. Sometimes you will find men on YouTube Yelling my name, Pastor Jennings. Only reason why these fellas may yell about Pastor Jennings because ain't nobody watching them. And even they know if they say my name, they're going to turn somebody's head. They're going to want to know, what are he saying about Pastor Jennings? I'm not paying nobody no mind. I'm busy working, trying to save souls from hell. So remember... The address of our temporary location, it'll be coming across the screen here. Services every Sunday morning at 11 o'clock, and again every Sunday afternoon at 4.30. Two services. You come on and be faithful to both of them. Because I'll be popping in a lot of time unannounced. <laughs> oh yeah, every time I come down here, it won't be over there. I'm just going to slide in and slide out. I don't want you to be one of them brothers and sisters. I'm coming when Pastor Jennings is coming. I'm not your God. Mm -mm. If you love the message of God like you should love it, then your loyalty will be to God himself. All right, Williams. Let's go to work in the Bible. In the book of St. Matthew, 
No, I want the third chapter. Give Williams more juice, please. Plenty of juice. The third chapter, 1 Corinthians, begin at verse 8. 1 Corinthians chapter 3, and we're at verse 8. Yes. 1 Corinthians 3, and at verse 8. Now he that planteth and he that watereth are one. All preachers that are listening and watching, mm -hmm. I advise you to leave your church. Mm -hmm. All churchgoers that are listening and watching, I don't care about your position, how long you've been playing the organ. Listen, I played keyboard over 45 years. I knew how to play it well. All kind of music I knew how to play. But if you are a drummer, guitar player, organ player, piano player, you ought to want to do these things. You ought to, they all right. You want to sit down, let her sit down and relax herself. She can sit there. That's all right. Go on and relax yourself. You want to wish up God in spirit and in truth and not play your instruments for the devil. That's right. The greatest day of your life is when God brings you out of falsehood. My God, not to be lied to no more is beautiful. Come on, son. Now he that planteth and he that watereth are one. Yes. And every man shall receive his own reward according to his own labor. Now, I know I have to stand before God for the work that we do. That's right. According to this scripture. Mm hmm the word of God says what? And every man. How much? Every man. Yeah, that don't exempt me. No. That's why we labor much, sick or well, tired or not. Every man. Every man shall receive uh -huh. his own reward uh -huh. according to his own labor. According to his own labor. What else? For we are laborers together with God. Wait a minute. You have to work with, listen, if you want to work with the truth of God, you're going to have to work with God. That's right. That's what I'm doing. I'm working with God. That's right. God is the head of it. Mm -hmm. God is the boss of it. Yeah. God is in charge of it. Right. The whole city of Houston must repent of their sins. That's right. Your mother, your father, everybody. That's right. Your preacher, everybody. That's right. Must repent of their sins, go down in water in the name of Jesus Christ to get your sins washed away. Mm -hmm. If you want to go back with God, God knows. That's right. What did he say? For we are laborers together with God. It's a wonderful thing to work with God and not against him. That's right. You see, when you're working in falsehood, you're working against him. Mm -hmm. You got a woman preacher? You do? <laughs> hey, you're working against God. That's right. If I have any ex-women preachers here <laughs> you may well sincere but when your so-called reverend <laughs> or your husband or your lazy slap happy grandpappy <laughs> had you up in the pulpit of his church taking up space screaming and hollering to grown men <laughs> the reason why those men love to see you because they love to see you bounce around that's right. Mm-hmm. Mm. See you move and put them in a spirit. That's right. And that's laboring against God. Amen. The greatest day is when God opened up your understanding. You know when your understanding come open and you start questioning Bishop, Bishop get angry with you. Mm -hmm. Then Bishop say you're a troublemaker. That's right. Then Bishop say, well, you know what? Why don't you go pray about that? Bishop, I prayed already. I want some answers. That's right. You ain't tell me to pray about giving money. So why I got to pray about getting answers from you? Amen. Get me. Holy Ghost said. We are laborers together with God. That's why we want to labor together down here in Houston. That's right. Everybody. Whether you're a carpenter, bus driver, plumber, electrician, doctor, lawyer, Architect, secretary, finance, accountant, I don't care what you are. Mm -hmm. Be able to use that skill to the glory of God. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. And whatever God said, God, God. be ready and willing mm -hmm. 
to obey him. That's right. You may struggle at first. Amen. As many things God said, I struggle with. That's so right. I say, you, Pastor, oh, yes. Oh, but Pastor, I thought it was easy for you. How the uh -huh. devil's tricking you good, isn't it? <laughs> I'm a realist. That's right. Mm-mm. This ain't nothing easy about this. No. It's more easy to do wrong than to do right. <laughs> Am I right, I said? Yes. It's easy to do wrong. Oh, yeah. But the moment you say, you know what? I'm going to make it up in my mind to walk this holy way. Trouble in your marriage that never was there. Trouble in your job. That woman that used to go on to the, the job in those pants suits and <laughs> pants hugging her body and lips all red and earrings and eyebrows arching. When she come in switching, she make the bookcases swerve. <laughs> <laughs> eh? Amen. Now all of a sudden she come in body covered, head covered, no makeup, just her natural beauty that God gave her. That's right. Amen. Amen. Right. Body covered now. Hey, 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 wait, hey, Cynthia, what's wrong with you? Ain't nothing wrong with me. It's something how when you got your body covered, they think you're in a cult. <laughs> That's right. But when you're out here half naked looking like a fool, they commend you. Mm -hmm. When you do those things that destroy you, brother and sister, smoke weed, heroin, crack, drinking, partying, gambling, you get a lot of compliments. Yeah. Make it up in your mind to walk with God for real. Yeah. Man, look. Man, I don't know what that stuff you in, but I'm, they be telling you, I'm a Christian too. <laughs> <laughs> and they say the church I go to, preachers smoke, everybody smoke. Right. <laughs> Again, we are innocent victims yeah. of bad teaching. Right. The earth is not designed for God's people to stay here. No. Everything that's here is for temporary use. That's right. Glory to God. When God comes, he's going to burn creation up. Amen. That's what has me killing myself. <coughs> Traveling like we are. Trying to save thousands as we could. My wife lay me out. She said, listen, Mr. Man. <laughs> she said, you better get some sleep. I said, I'm trying. Hmm. Sometimes church folk lay me out. Why don't you get some rest, Pastor Jennings? Sometimes people write me. Pastor Jennings, I saw you preaching on YouTube. You look tired. <laughs> Sometimes people conflict in what they say. They say, I saw you preaching. You look tired and exhausted. Where are you coming to set up the church where we are? <laughs> ah, glory to God. 